What up, crew? In this segment, I'm going to show you how to use a 3D printer to convince a doctor to remove your tonsils. We're also going to send him a thank you card. Let's check it out. Joby Kirchman here. This t-shirt episode is brought to you by the Down and Outlaws. So I've always hated my tonsils. They have drove me nuts since I was a young, young kid. No doctors would take them out. I've tried for about 10 to 15 years and it's just too risky or they said, oh, that's how you have to live with them. It just gets inflamed, deal with it. I was sick of it. I'm not gonna deal with these anymore. So I went to this one doctor. I told him my tonsils were really hurting me. He said, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Went to a second doctor. She said they don't remove tonsils anymore. Went to a third doctor. He said, not a chance. So I went to a fourth doctor. He seemed kind of nice. I told him about the pain. I designed in Mesh Mixer my 3D printed tonsil. So Mesh Mixer is a free software that you can use to design things to print. This I'm just taking a circle and flattening it out. And you can use different types of brushes on here and kind of just give it some texture. Um, I don't know what my tonsils really look like. I'm just doing this from memory. And I'm uh, just kind of flattening things around and making some bumps and ridges and kind of making it look as gnarly as possible. This I want to flatten it on the bottom to have a good base to print on. I just send this over to the printer right now. This 3D printer is the JokerBot Z18 and it's using red filament. Looks good. Printed out two of these. I went into his office and I slammed them on the table and I said, I want these removed. He was like, what are they? These are my tonsils. Did you scan those? No, this is just an idea of what they are. All right. He said I could go in for surgery. So I posted a picture and didn't tell any of my friends what was happening. No joke. This was the most painful thing I've ever had happen in my entire life. Searing pain for about six days. Okay, so the pain is excruciating. Day one, it's bearable when you wake up because the drugs are still affecting you. I thought it would be interesting if zombies were attacking me out of the shower. So I warned housemate Hugh. He didn't respond. Day two, now the drugs have worn off and your throat feels so dry and swollen, it's not fun. Uh, day three, it gets worse because you haven't slept and you don't want to eat. Whatever you can do, eat it because you're just going to get weaker if you don't eat. Day about five, hopefully you've hidden all the knives and sharp objects in your house. Day six, it actually turns around and gets better. Also, when you get your tonsils removed, there's a 4% chance that you'll still bleed after the surgery. I was one of those lucky 4%. They had to give me some other drugs to thicken my blood so that it um, would clot. Not that much fun at all waking up to a bloody throat if you even slept for about 40 minutes. When you just think it can't get any more painful, it does. Be prepared for it. Totally worth it in the end. So to say thank you to Mr. Doctor, I'm going to make a 3D printed thank you card. The Skip Bandit found these in the mail. The British Red Cross thank you cards from Christmas, but it doesn't matter. But instead of a boring snowman's face, let's use mine. Looks so stupid. <laughs> and then I think. With that, I'll just put that in here like this. Yeah. Oh, crap. With these, I'm gonna have to like unstick these and it's a real pain. I just realized we cut off the little bit that makes it easy to grab the sticky part. Hold on. Oh man. Oh, come on. Okay, sweet. 
done. We'll stick him about right there. Sad snowman. And here are the 3D printed tonsil and stitches that we're gonna use. All right, let's glue them down. About, oh crap. <laughs> About right there. Uh, right there. We can pretend that's tonsil blood. <laughs> we'll let it dry. Let me show you how I designed the stitches. So I went into Fusion 360 and started making some lines. I turned the lines into tubes and gave them a diameter of four millimeters. Now I also want to make the bottom flat so that it prints well. So I'm using the top of this block to cut my stitches. I delete the lower half and then just put a fillet over all the corners. That looks pretty good. Now I just send it to the printer. I'm using the same Joker bot with black PLA. So when we printed these, we used a raft. I'll show you how to take it off this raft so it looks like this. What we do is simply grab it with our pliers and you'll hear some clicks. That means it's breaking off of the raft. That's a good sign. What we don't want to do is break off the entire piece all at one time. We want to do it slowly piece by piece. There we go. Now we can grab the whole thing and rip it off, just like a tonsil. Hashtag tonsil. Okay, so now that we have our two little stitches, let's take my face, my ugly mug. And stick them right here. Let's glue on our little stitches. About right there. Beautiful, all healed up. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you, doctor. A couple of things about this thank you card. One, uh, your tonsils aren't really that big compared to the size of a dog. Two, um, I don't know if this is supposed to be, like here's the original. It's supposed to be like a kid hugging a snowman, but is this now like a tonsil boy? and I'm the snowman? I think so, I think we'll go with that. And we wanna get rid of Tonsil Boy. So I'm gonna draw a snowman as me, free of Tonsil Boy. I think that'll make sense. Also, when they remove your tonsils, there's no stitches on the outside of your throat. Don't worry about it. It's all, ah, ah, ha. Let's draw a beautiful, no man, as me. So lovely. Is that what a snowman looks like? I look like a, like just an amoeba, or like a, a Ghostbuster, maybe. Here, let's put some like fingers on me. Put some hands on me. And like some big shoes. And maybe, oh, I gotta have buttons. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that looks like a nice snowman. I made two of them one for the doctors and one for the nurses. Perfect. How can I 3D print all of this stuff? all of these designs and draw like this. I'm here to tell you, you do not need to know how to draw if you wanna be able to make 3D printed objects. Completely different worlds. It's good to sketch it out before, but rough sketch, you know what's in your head. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. This works. Side note, surgeons in the UK are not called doctor. If you're a male, they're called mister. If you're a female, they're called missus. Okay, let's go give this to the hospital. Hey, guess what? It's raining in London. All right, we're gonna go into the hospital. I know it's the weekend and the doctor's probably not there, but we'll drop it off with the, um, I don't know, somebody. All right, let's go. 
I received this card from this gentleman. <laughs> I want to thank all doctors in ENT. I'm not allowed to receive, but I'm going to receive it. Make sure give the doctors so they will appreciate his uh, truthfulness that he still think about them <laughs> just to thank them. That's him. You see how he looked? Great. <laughs> I looked bad there, but I look healthy on the inside. Okay. I look so much happier. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, you're okay. just as good as the doctors. No, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely give them, I'll definitely. I appreciate it, no thank problem. you so much. So, I 3D printed a thank you card for taking out my tonsils. I found the card, you know, in the mail for free, and then, so this is like me before with the inflamed tonsils, and then, all better. But I know, I know you don't really have stitches on the outside of the throat, it felt like it at the time, so, but, I do, I do want to say thank you, and I... Oh, that's I, lovely. I, that's right. Well done. Pasta removed. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he says he had to throw away his knives, because I, I was worried that I'll chop my head off. It got bad. It got bad. Well, thank you so much for, oh, thank you. for everything. I appreciate it. For me personally, it was one of the greatest things, because it had bugged me my entire life. If you can manage the pain of tonsil inflammation by all means like don't do the surgery if you really want to see a difference and it gives you so much pain every single time that your tonsils flare up I can highly recommend it it did wonders for me just want to give a big shout out to the doctors also if you're interested in getting a 3d printer look at robosavvy.com it's the company that I work for they got some pretty cool stuff on their website link in the description I'll leave you with a quote All right, so housemate Hugh doesn't think I'm gonna get 100 subscribers in a month. The bet is a curry dinner. Let's prove him wrong. That's crazy. <laughs> housemate Hugh wants me to change his name to housemate Jim, but I don't live with a housemate Jim. He doesn't also think that I'm gonna make any other friends. Let's prove him wrong on both of those fronts. <laughs>